Hi, my name is Ruiz and today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of owning a subsale house. So a subsale house is a house previously owned by a different individual that has now been put on sale uh, in the secondary market. So in a way, it's like a pre-loved house. So usually you can find subsale houses on property portals posted by real estate negotiators, real estate agents, or even by individual homeowners themselves. Also, you can go around to housing areas, look for for sale signs with contact numbers to ask about the house. So what are the good things about buying a subsidy house? Well, number one, you can physically touch it, see how the house is, see the condition of the house. Number two, because it's already in a developed area, you get to see the different amenities, the different shops, even your neighbours around the house and see how they are. And thirdly, since it's already been lived in or already been built, you can move in straight away. So there are some cons to owning a subset house, like number one, you'll be inheriting the bumps and bruises left by the previous owner since it's already been lived in. And number two, subset houses are actually a bit more expensive because uh, you will not have the benefit of all the different packages offered by a developer, all the different discounts offered by a developer, and so you have to pay all the fees yourself. So for example, some uh, developers have a campaign, you will not be able to benefit from that. And so you need to make sure that you have a little bit of extra cash because subsidized houses can be quite expensive. Unfortunately, you can't claim any reparation costs from your owner. So all the bumps and bruises will have to be repaired by you using your own money from your own wallet. So that's why it's going to be a little bit tough and a little bit uh, longer for you to find the perfect house. So on top of the reparation cost, there are some actually other fees that you have to pay up front, which include down payment, which is usually like 10% of the house's cost, uh, SPA legal fees, stamp duty, um, loan agreement legal fees, and sometimes other fees as well. Like if you bought from an agent, then you have to pay the agent fees. You have to get fire insurance and of course the reparation costs. Um, so all this kind of amount to a large amount. So make sure they save up and have enough dough. So that's all about subsale homes. If you have any other questions about home buying, be sure to follow, like and subscribe. Ask Myra.